But this tree is a crazy tree. It's like the apple tree that keeps on giving. It's nuts. That is a nut, another tree. With my yoga retreat coming up, I hunt for ingredients for the perfect green smoothie until the rain chases me out of the kitchen garden. Oh my gosh, it's raining. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to make a run for it. Foolishly, I then invite my husband to help with the tasting. So what? I'm making you a smoothie. <laughs> that's rotten. No, it's not. That's You're how, putting a rotten medley. It's not, in. meddlers are supposed to be like that. Looks like, looks like a smoothie that would really so appeal nice. to The thing about meddlers rabbits. is they actually have a, Or perhaps slugs might like that. There's no think. slugs on there. I won't fake no, this for no, the camera no, no, or no, anything no, at just all. Just be honest. This will, this will be the truth. Later, Luke meets up with Tom to find out about regenerative farming. Turnips and forage, which are the turnips? I don't actually know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Tom, there's, there's, oh, you must know whether this is a turnip. I do, know. There's two plants growing. One is a turnip and one isn't. That doesn't taste very turnipy to me. No. And proves he's not much help with the spade. So I'm going to give this a go. And, oh. Uh, well, I've instantly hit a stone. Yeah. <laughs> this on, just we'll isn't no. going in anywhere. And is that... That's... Welcome to Mapperton, our family home and estate in Dorset in the southwest of England. Julie and I took over running Mapperton a few years ago from my parents, the Earl and Countess of Sandwich. It's a lot of work, but also a lot of fun. This place is full of fascinating stories, extraordinary people, and endless repairs. So please join our family on this journey of a lifetime as we put all our efforts into preserving this magnificent part of England's heritage. When people arrive here for a yoga retreat, uh, they arrive, they kind of like check in, and then we have sort of like an introductory or orientation meeting. I hate to call it a meeting, but that's kind of his chat, I should say, fireside chat in the 17th century hall inside the house. And everybody then has a lovely green smoothie. And what I'm trying to do now is to actually, this year, um, is to forage what I can um, for their smoothies so that everybody's really drinking uh, a smoothie that comes completely from the estate. So I'm, I first have to try it though. So rose hips can be quite sort of pungent and, and a little bit bitter, but I think, but they're so good for you. They're massively high in antioxidants, like unbelievably high. So I just think possibly I'm gonna throw in a few of these for the intro. Um, to, to try out the smoothie. There's probably too many. Maybe like, mm, I'll take these two, okay? So, we're gonna start with rose hips. I've never, by the way, I'm just making this up because there's so much here on the estate that I'm like, I have to be able to use it. So I'm gonna walk down here because I know that this is the tree that I picked all the apples from, but I also know, don't tell me these have been all picked, no. Where is it? Oh. Have they literally picked all the russet apples? What? Do you guys see any on here? Nope. So, well, we do have russet apples anyway. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at how many came. There's way more here. I could, oh my gosh. This tree is insane. This tree produces a crazy amount of apples. Oh, <gasps> no. There's so many again. I thought I picked them all. So I'm just gonna use these. These are delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, mm, really good. But this tree is a crazy tree. It's like the apple tree that keeps on giving. It's nuts. That is a nut, another tree. This is our huge, enormous, as you can see, mulberry tree. 
Uh, and, but there, it's too late. Um, we're sort of in, you know, we are fully fledged in autumn here. But the good news is that there are meddlers and I can spot them. So this is brilliant. So that one's not ready. Whoops, that one is because it fell right off. Um, here it's quite soft in here, which means I should be able to get the flesh of them. And I can almost tell from last year doing the, um, when I made my meddler tart, that, uh, see there's some on the ground, which actually, like that one's actually a really good one. Um, it probably has just fallen. Um, no, not that one. So, this is, look at this meddler tree. I mean, I never even knew about meddlers until I well, basically moved here. So, uh, I got a couple meddlers. Remember, I'm just trying to make, there's a lot up here. Um, so I don't want to take them all off because I'm just experimenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to head to the kitchen garden and get something green because I've got rose hips, apple, meddlers, and then let's head to the kitchen garden to get something green. I'm heading here into the kitchen garden. The weather isn't looking great. It's like England, right? Sunny, then it's pouring with rain, then it's cloudy. So the kitchen garden is sort of like at its tail end. There's not a whole bunch here because we picked it all and we tried to eat it all. But over here, there's some shard, a couple young leaves, because I just think it's always important to have a little bit of green. So, oh, there's a drop. Oh dear. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to make a run for it quite soon. Okay. That's enough young leaves. Then I'm going to head over here to the nasturtion. Is that right? Spot on. Thanks, Stephen. The nasturtion plant. Now, nasturtion plant, it's quite spicy. It's starting to rain. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's starting to rain. This is the nasturtion plant. They're all over here, but I thought it'd be really pretty. There's so many to like, I shouldn't take them all, but I'll take this one and I'll take one of these to top the smoothies. Wouldn't that be really pretty to like everybody? And they're edible. So these ones are edible. So, okay. I think I've got, I think I'm happy with this. And also it's raining. Oh my gosh. So I'm happy with this. Let's go whiz it up. Oh dear. Please help support this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash Mapperton Live. Okay, I've just washed all of the fruit and veg. I've got some oat milk here. So because a lot of people have like nut allergies, I don't want to do, I don't want to do like almond milk. I just thought I would do oat milk. Um, so I'm just going to cut the apple into little chunks and I'm just going to put it into like my little smoothie maker here. So this is just my little, it's like going to give me like one cup. Well, then these rose hips, this will be interesting. So I think I'm just gonna add like maybe two rose hips um, and then the meddlers. So meddlers are kind of, they actually, like I said, for me, they kind of taste like apple juice, applesauce, like growing up with applesauce in America. It's all, I, mean, I just remember those big jars. Do you remember, does it, if anybody can remember those big jars of applesauce, I and mean, I haven't been, I haven't had any in a long time, but I just remember, comment down below, right? Let me know. Um, if you still have applesauce, right? So, okay, so here's the meddler. I have now, applesauce. Me what? I have applesauce. Do you? A well, applesauce is very good with, so this was with a pork, nice... isn't it? You had it with pork? No. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna, I... this one's, this one's what, nice. This what, is a no, good meddler. Can you tell me what, what? So I'm making you a smoothie. <laughs> so I'm putting you, the meddler, which is like... making a smoothie. Well, you're gonna be my tat, you're gonna be my... Looks like, looks like a smoothie that would really this appeal nice. to The thing about meddlers rabbits. is they actually have... Or a, perhaps slugs might like that. There's no slugs on there. I know, but they would enjoy eating meddlers these things. Meddlers actually have quite a lot of seeds. Like that meddler I just was um, bleeding oh, out. That's not... That, that's rotten. No, it's not. That's You're how, putting a rotten meddler it's not, in. Meddlers are supposed to be like that. It's not, it's not. Is that you sure? Yeah. Huh? Okay, you okay. don't know anything about meddlers then. Okay. Read up. Okay. Yeah, you okay. can't... 
I don't yep. know about meddlers. So this I think one it's okay that stones. I don't know about meddlers. Okay, I've got a good meddler. I mean, I'm happy. Right. With that so, one's not ready, so, but, but, but those the one I have put so in. So you're making ready. this specifically for me, or is this a trial run for? This is a trial run. For the yoga retreat. So I just put in one meddler, two rose hips. So I have to remember this in case it works. One meddler, two rose hips, half of an apple. I like that. And then in case it works, so she's okay. going to try it out on me, where it may not and then work. And three shard. It, it's, it's not going to make me ill, is it? No, no. It's not. You're not putting any mushrooms in there. Because yeah. um, but we survived the mushrooms. We, we know that you're not that good at distinguishing. Yeah, I'm very mushrooms. good. So then three. Then I did three shard leaves. Are you sure there isn't a kind of deadly version of the medlar no. that looks like what? a medlar? No. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do now? So I've put. So remember okay. that half an apple. Half an apple. Two rose hips. Two rose hips. One blatted medlar needs to be blatted, and three young shard leaves. And a partridge. And then in a to tree. top it, we're going to put the um. Oh, I forgot what they're called. Flowers. No, they're nasturtium. Nasturtium, and oh, they're nasturtia. edible on top. Oh yeah. Pretty. More, more edible flowers. More edible yeah. flowers. Pretty. Let me just move them okay. over here. So that's okay. The, is that the decorative bit for me on yeah. the top? Oh, I yeah. Like yeah. Decorative things on the top. Oh dear. I'll... Oh wait. That, well, that's really worked. No. I think okay. you've got to turn it upside down. Yeah, but then the blade doesn't work. Oh, oh. there we go. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So it probably had some instructions. Okay. I'll get a bit of banana. No, 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 I don't no, no, want to. No, banana. banana here, look. And all these to be from Mapperton. Okay. This is a Mapperton banana. It's uh, okay, seen better is... days. Okay. But that I think not, it, I think it would really help. Because I'm having this. Can't we just add a little okay, bit of wait. banana in? No, no, no. I don't want a banana in. Please, please, please. Back off. Okay. I don't want a banana in. Give me your cup. Okay. <laughs> yeah, put this banana away. Okay. <laughs> Poor banana. Can we? Then I think we'll do this. Do you see that? She sort of budges me away. No, it's just I'm excited about it. I'm, I, no, I'm excited too. I think it could work. Okay. Just get a picture so of this, this. So hang on a second. This is the smoothie that people... <gasps> oh my, no wait. <sighs> Look it. I mean, wouldn't you, if you arrived at Matt Britton as a yoga guest and I just hold on and I told you that everything in here apart from the oat milk was foraged from Mapperton. Yeah. Even the flour is edible. Wouldn't you, I would be so excited. I, I would be so excited until I tasted it. No, but it might. So and then I might not be excited. If it's good, okay, you have I'll, to tell I'll, me. I'll, I will be completely honest about yeah, this. Yeah, please okay. be honest. And I won't, I won't fake yeah, this for no, the no, camera no, no, or no, anything no, at all. Just be honest. This will, this will be the truth. Okay. You can smell a lot of chlorophyll. No, you can't. I sure can. Oh my God, it's overpowering. No, you can't. I feel instantly healthy. Let me taste it. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a disaster. Oh my gosh! It no actually, way! It actually tastes all right. And as I say. Oh my gosh! This is good! It is good. For, this is good! For rabbit oh food, my gosh. it's pretty good, I think. This is, no, what this about, is so about, good. We could, we could add flour. some protein though. You can't take it away from me now because I, I only got one little no. sip. Hang on a sec, let me have one more. Here we go. I need to smooth it a little bit more. There are some chunks, but I guess you like chunks. Okay, can everybody remember this? You, I am Re so happy. Recipe again. We're, oh my gosh, Medler, we're gonna make this. Half an apple. Lettuce, apple. Wait, half an apple, two rose hips, one bletted medlar, and three young, small uh, shard leaves it's, it's, and oat milk. It's got sort of layers of taste. It's actually quite smooth. And it and it's I cannot believe it's this. creamy. I thought it's, it was going to be a, a little disaster. bit creamy. It's a little bit creamy, and it's really quite drinkable. Anyway, thank you. Um, I'm going to leave you. To, that is going on. To make the next one. I'm, that is that is it. That I think, is I it. think with a little smidgen of banana, it would no, be perfection. No, there's no banana. It's we'll, all going to we'll be foraged that. from we'll, Mapperton. We'll try that next time. Checking on my damson gin right now, which is basically Christmas presents for everybody. So welcome to the lauder. I had no idea what the lauder was when I first moved to this country, no idea. But basically it's kind of like a natural refrigerator because it's always cold here in England anyway, so it keeps everything super cold. So this is the damson gin. It's just been sitting here and you're supposed to give it, you can see the sugar at the bottom there. So every like few days, you're supposed to like give it a nice little 
I'm gonna give it like a big shake. I kind of want to open it and just like smell it. Um, okay, let's just like shake it up. Okay, so give it a good shake. Now, I, 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 it won't hurt it if I open it. Let's just smell it. Oh, that is strong. That is some strong gin. So if you've watched American Viscountess, our other YouTube channel, you would have seen at Pentilly Castle that I learned how to make slow gin and really any type of infused gin um, from Mark at Pentilly Castle, So, um, which is great. So I decided to try it myself using damsons. I am going to give it a bit of a stir because of that sugar that's on the bottom. Yeah, okay, that's all it did. It's not, it's not that much, but I mean, it is a lovely dark color. I mean, really lovely. Yeah, I can feel the sugar. I'm just getting the sugar up from it. Now I'm just gonna close it up and then I'll come in next week and give it a little bit more of a shake. So I'll just shake up what I just stirred up. There, it's better. It's better, everybody. And then I might just taste this spoon. I think this is gonna be really good. You can actually, I mean, I know I still have like six more weeks to go. I mean, obviously I can taste the gin, Woo! but you can taste the sweetness from the damson, or sorry, the sweetness from the sugar, but also you can taste the berry, if you like, from the damson. That is excellent. I'm super proud of it. For early access to these videos, behind the scenes content and other benefits, please become a patron at patreon.com forward slash Matt Live. Welcome everybody. We are at the top of Marsh Farm and this is a little sequence that I've been wanting to do for some time. We've got Tom Gregory, who you've all met before, and Tom and I are here almost at a crossroads, aren't we? It's, <laughs> it's a physical crossroads. <laughs> But Tom is also at a figurative crossroads in his farming mm. because he is going regen, which is a super cool thing to do. What does it mean, Tom? Um, I think what does it mean to us or what does it mean to you <laughs> yeah. is a great question. And what it means to us is, is just, just tweaking what we're doing to make sure that the way we're farming, the way we're producing food is having human health benefits, environmental health benefits, whilst farming sustainable. Sustainably, meaning that we can carry on farming, creating a bit of profit. And I know much less about regenerative farming than Tom does, but I know a couple of things. And one is that regen is really about the soil, yes. isn't it? It's about keeping this stuff healthy, because we all kind of forget that everything in our lives, pretty much, has yeah. come from there. And yet, Tom, what's your view of what intensive farming has been doing to this valuable stuff beneath our feet? There's been some really great research and studies and some post-Second World War farming techniques have looked at heavy tillage and chemical use. Heavy in, tillage meaning lots of ploughing. Lots of ploughing or soil moving, turning soil of soil, moving, yeah. um, breaking of soil structure and turning of soil structure and, and chemical use to, to improve uh, quantity of yields. So, was, so, so we're putting more chemicals in yeah. and we're turning the soil around more yeah. in order to get more yields, which means more crop, which means more profit. Or food. And more food. So more food was really important post Second yeah. World War because there was no food. True. So everyone was encouraged to yeah. produce more food. And they were like, oh, we found a great way of producing more food. Let's turn yeah. over the soil, cover it with chemicals and off we go. But now that we're much more conscious of these things, um, you've been farming in a particular way for the last few years. Yeah. And you have an expression for what you think intensive agriculture has been doing to the soil. Don't oh, you? soil mining. Soil mining, which I think sort of captures it. Yeah. You know, you're taking out, yeah. but you're not putting, you're not putting back. back. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So what do we need to put back and why do we need to put it back? So we need to put back organic matter in the yeah. form of plant residue, roots or manure, farm yeah. farmyard manure or yeah. a combination of all three. 
Not chemicals. No, not natural no. stuff. Natural that stuff that breaks down, becomes organic matter, yeah. and does another critical thing, which is stores carbon. So it feels like we're kind of at the cusp of a big shift in farming, and you and Sophie are. I suppose, typical of a new generation of farmers who are kind of thinking differently. Now, how does this go down with the old school? Confusion. Confusion. Because they, unfortunately, even people like my, my father's generation yeah. are, were still were taught cultivation and tillage yeah. and chemical farming. And, yeah. and so they are still on the mindset, really, that you know why are you changing what you're doing? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you what we're doing. You should be soil mining. Yeah, you should be soil mining. <laughs> You took over about four years ago? Four years ago, yeah. What was the quality of the soil like up here? Did you get what you'd bargain for? No, but we didn't grow any grass. So nothing didn't work? Well, it just didn't really, we, it didn't do a lot. So the soil here had been mined of its nutrients? Yeah. It, it, mined of the good stuff and compacted, probably. Yeah. Quite compacted? Quite compacted. What you're trying to do here is to restore that soil health so that in a sustainable way for the long term, Yeah you can put yeah. different crops in here and generate feed for yeah. your animals. Let's go have a look. What's this got in it then, Tom? So this has got a combination of turnips and forage rape. Turnips and forage, which are the turnips? I don't actually know. <laughs> he doesn't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Tom, there's, there's, oh, you must know whether this is a turnip. I don't know. There's two plants growing. One is a turnip and one isn't. That doesn't taste very turnipy to me. No. Let's try this one. It's quite good though. It's not bad, you know is what? it? If I had that in my salad. You wouldn't moan, would you? I wouldn't moan Maybe at all. Maybe send the chefs up here. I mean, look at this. Maps and Cafe could just. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Try that one. That one's not bad either. I prefer the first one. Yeah. So let's have a look in, in here. Um, right. Hit some. One of the things I know about soil is that if you find a worm, that's a really good sign. You're putting me under pressure now, aren't you? Do you think we're going to find a worm? I hope so. I mean, you've only been doing this, though, Tom, for a year or so. So there's a limit to what we can have done to the soil in that time. But, oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah. Look what we got straight away. And another one here. There he is. You know, these are signs. And can you see the fungal network in here? That's so not, these... that's not, that's a root, but in the, the real fine hairs... The fine hairs are the mycorrhizal fungi. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So the, the roots are going down into the ground and they're, they're looking for the nutrients within the soil to drag back up through the plant to, to grow the plant's leaves. And to help the plant roots find the nutrients they need, the mycorrhizal or fungi... Which, which are fungi, they're very thin... That's right. ...thin fungi, which we could almost we could see We just about here. see a couple. They're sort of very thin, hair-like things. Yeah. They're spread around the soil, yeah. and they're helping... Um, as nearly like root extensions. Right. That'd be a good term. Root, root extensions. Ex well, so this is a hairdressing analogy. Yeah. <laughs> Hair extensions, allowing the roots to, to, to look further afield. The, the mycorrhizal fungus is, is basically looking for the plant. And is, 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 is it then communicating back to the root of the plant? Is it exchanging nutrients? I think it's that the microbial fungi yeah. are helping the roots locate or actually transporting back to, to the root area the nutrients allowing yeah. the roots to take up. So they're they're sort of critical messengers yeah. stroke transporters. They're like kind of the delivery of yeah. the subsurface. Yeah. yeah. But um, when we when we dug down, I had to put a bit of effort because it's quite dry and there is some flint. But it's important to know how much effort we had to put into dig this hole. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, was it? I mean, if it had been if it had been drier, it might have been yeah. harder. Yeah. And and when we what we've got here is some good loose. Soil, with, soil with worms with worms look at that and roots and more so worms it seems to be working ultimately what we're trying to do is is get not just um healthier soil but also healthier food into our bodies correct so that uh, we will live longer and happier so i quite want to go at digging should we go look at another yeah field? so what we're gonna do next door is we'll, we'll go next door and see um how much difference there is next door and so that, so that, I reckon that, that gets sort of a B plus, that it's, soil, doesn't it? I would like to think so. I think yeah. it's pretty good. Yeah, well done. Especially from what it was. Yeah. And uh, hopefully next door won't be quite so easy. In a good way and a bad way. So Tom, this field looks rather different. What's going on? 
So this field, traditionally, because it's the field closest to the road, yeah. has had all the traffic to get to right. the other fields. Oh, I see. So what we think we've got in here is um, quite a large amount of compaction. So compaction is when the soil has been pressed down so hard that it's like concrete. Yeah. Kind of. Bit, a bit better than concrete. Yeah, but a little bit better, but not much. Not much. And we're, we're seeing, we, we think that's the case from what we're seeing growth rates and soil health wise in this field. So what crop have you put in here to try and get so what, something out of it? So this was no-till. This was a no-till experiment. Right. It, we, we so waited, not min-till. Not min-till, no-till. No-till, no okay. Um, so you drilled, we you drilled, drilled the, peas and the barley. peas and barley in here and did it come up? No. No. Not really. So there's nice peas and barley seed sort of stuck in there. Yeah, I think it's died now. It's pretty yeah. rubbish. So, so you're thinking that if I try to dig in here, I'm going to have a problem. You should be harder than next door. Should be harder than yeah. next door. So I'm going to give this a go. And, oh, that, well, I've instantly hit a stone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> this is your spade, isn't it? Because I don't want to, oh, it's zippy. No, it's zippies. It's so the gamekeepers. It, yeah, I've got to buy him another one. I had to buy him this one. You've already broken one before. <laughs> yeah, this is the second this one we all This isn't no. going in anywhere. And is that... That's the compaction. That's the compaction, yeah. Because we're just 50 yards from where we were. Yeah. And, and we can't get in at all. Come on, let's get in a little bit. Just, just a little tiny. Ah, ah. Right, okay, I've got a bit of soil. Yeah. But look, if you look at this soil, and it's worth coming in to see, you know, compared to the lovely, healthy colours that we had before. And it's a lot learned. lighter, isn't it? Well, look at, but also look at that. That's, that's sort of hard, like clay, isn't it? It's, it's not really soil. It's so we've else. got some work to do in here. So what's the plan? What can we do? So I think what we'll do... Surely you need to really plough this up first. So what we did in there wasn't ploughing. Yeah. It was subsoiling. Yeah. So what we did is we put some legs that went 18 inches down into the soil yeah. with feet along the bottom right. and they just lifted. Yeah. So we didn't turn anything, right. we just lightly lifted everything. Yeah. Which is why we can dig a spade in there quite happily. And you can't hear. And we can't in here. This experiment didn't work, but it told you something. Yeah. Anyway, Tom, thank you very much. Um, I think we've got lots of interesting things to see happening here over the next few years. <laughs> but once again, I am quite envious of the cows munching away in that field because it really tasted good and I think we're going to take a bit back for the cafe and certainly for Julie's salad this evening. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe Sophie would like some too. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Brilliant.